Hi, David Rawlings of the London Longsword Academy. There's been a lot of interest in Myers cutting diagram and I wanted to go through a simple methodology that I use to be able to identify the sequence. And in order to do so, what I do is I eliminate the cross and I simply use sides. So here what I have with the line on the wall is I have the right side or the left side. Now the sequence simply goes that if I make a choice, top right, I will go to the opposite, bottom left. Then I'll go to the other elevation of my choice and then to the opposite of that. So if I choose top left, opposite, other elevation of my choice, opposite. Okay, so it keeps it nice and simple. Now I'm gonna go through the structure of the actual cutting and I'm gonna do a very, very broad form. So hopefully this will make it nice and clear for you to be able to see I'm giving myself choices now. Sometimes I do this with more of an elbow roll or a wrist roll with the cut. On this, I'm gonna make it very gross shoulder movement. Very similar to what I'm using with the Montante normally. And indeed, I'm gonna use the Montante to use with this as well, okay? So the first thing I'm doing is three upward swings, the last one stopping in a long point. So from here, I'm turning the hand here, like so, to bring the point on line, or bring the back end on line. I'm sweeping one to long, then bringing this up, and again, you see the gross shoulder move, down, swing. Third one, swing. Now from here, I'm bringing my hand into a large cut. simply I'm going to point in the direction that I'm going to cut okay so from here I'm going to top the cut to the top right one then to the bottom left because that's opposite two then to the bottom right because that's my second elevation again making the time for my choice to cut with the trade three and then again because I'm going to cut down bringing the metal of the blade above my head four and then swing like so again I do that on my left side here, again, the line in the cup here, step one, over, down, step two, over, down, step three, then from here, I'm going to cut down, on the top left, here, one, make the shape broad, two, make the shape broad, three, make the shape broad, four, now I'm only showing these left and right just so you've got the balance out. This is not my choice of targets. I'm not doing this. I'm not saying that you change hands each time you drill. Okay, so the second time we go through on the right, here. Again, align the edge. One, pull it through. Two, pull it through. Three. This time our second choice, again pointing in the direction I'm going to cut. See here, by going through this cover, I'm pointing in the direction I'm going to cut. That two, one. Point in the direction we're going to cut. Two, three, four, and back with the board. Okay, and then obviously on with the fur of the sequence. Now, to do the false edge cuts, very, very simply, give yourself the same time that you gave yourself on the long edge cuts. So here, after I've gone through my sequence of three upward slashes, from here, as I come up, simply hanging the sword on my thumb. Then from here, one, bring up and around, two, bring up and around, three, bring it down, four, sweep it around the head, five, and there. That, I hope, makes things very, very simple. Obviously, you apply exactly the same logic then to the flats as well. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Take care.